Let us look at the definitions of literature. Yassi defines literature in its broad sense as anything that is written. Yassi defines what? Defines literature as anything that is written. While reads about the same year, sees literature in its narrow sense. Rees tried to narrow down the definition of literature and then he says it is what writing which expresses and communicates thoughts, feelings and attitudes towards life. Rees says what? He says literature is a piece of writing which expresses and communicates thoughts feelings and attitudes towards life towards what towards life okay can you see the two difference why one just says literature is anything that is written the other says what it is writing which expresses and communicates thought feelings and attitude towards life in other words if we were to follow what gay c says it therefore means that anything that is not written is not literature. So, the moonlight stories that were told by our parents, our grandparents, and our great-grandparents, the festivals that we enjoy, the tales that are narrated to children, in other words, are not what? Are not literature. Why? Because they are not written. On the other hand, Rees says, in the narrow sense of it, literature is what? Writing which expresses and communicates thoughts, feelings, and attitude towards life. Okay? Rees also did not pay attention to oral literatures. When we look at the first definition again, you will discover that anything can be literature. So, your biology textbook can be literature. The physics textbook is literature. Your commerce textbook is what? Literature. Your CROK or CROS as you call it or Islamic religious studies is what? Literature. So you see these definitions. They do not carry everything. Okay. They only look at a part of what literature is. Now the broad definition of Yesi appears to be vague. By vague I mean too broad it is not specific okay it is not realizable so this is not realistic that definition is what not realistic because they are written however they cannot qualify as real literature so if we say any written material is literature biology physics are not real literature why? Because they do not carry attitudes towards life, feelings towards life, okay? The narrow definition delineates literature from its general purview to what can be called literature as a subject of study. So what it only looks at is literature as the subject of what? Of studies, okay? So these two definitions have their own shortcomings and the shortcomings are things that i have just pointed out for you to fully and really understand or know what literature is some more definition will be given to you this will be followed by the evaluation of each of the definitions to see which one can be said or taken to be most appropriate in discussing literature so these two definitions that we've given so far does not cover up in entirety or in totality what literature should be hence we shall give you more definition that will help you gain full knowledge full understanding of what literature actually is now here is another definition of literature for you okay and this one was given by moody moody in 1987 writes that literature springs from our inborn love 
of telling a story, of arranging words in pleasing patterns, of expressing in words some special aspect of our human experience. You see, this is a totally different angle from which he's looking at what literature is. You understand? Like I started earlier, I made you to understand that literature has no fixed definition. Okay? It depends on how you see things. You can actually give a definition to what literature is by the way you see things. So the first writer, which is Yassi, says that literature is anything that is written. And Riz says that literature is writing which expresses and communicates thoughts, feelings, and attitude towards life. And then we try to look at other perspectives. Moody now came up and said, you know what? Literature springs from our inborn love of telling a story, of arranging words in pleasing patterns, of expressing in words some special aspects of human experience. You discover that Moody was actually trying to concentrate on the act of what? Of writing. He was actually trying to do what? To concentrate on the act itself of writing, of the beauty, the beauty in literature, the use of flowery language to convey message, to write about life experiences. So that is another angle from which we're looking at literature and which is that what? The arrangement of words in pleasing pattern of experiences of words, some special aspects of human experiences. So when you arrange words in a way that is a bit different from the day-to-day -day use of language, and then you use it to convey message, that automatically becomes literature. So that is what Moody is saying.